a goddess who lives beneath the earth in a boiling cavern of red-hot lava. Her breath is sulfur, her smell is worse. We've forgotten her name, better whisper it, Mephiti. She moves like a fish through the liquid rock. She looks like a cat and she barks like a dog. She's a very old goddess and no one is sure who first worshipped the goddess Mephiti. Since before the Romans ruled the nations, she swam underneath Greek columns and temples, popped through cracks in the earth in bubbling gases. There people worshipped the goddess Mephiti. At an Oscan resort built on the sea, rich Romans would go for holidays to the city of Pompeii, an elegant spa where people worshipped the goddess Mephiti. Bars and shops and brothels and bakeries, grand wealthy citizens, slaves and poets, exploitation and industry crammed in the busy town of the goddess Mephiti. One little boy had a poorly leg. It never worked properly. He limped and it hurt. He used a stick or he couldn't walk. He wanted to see the goddess Mephiti. His mother and grandmother took him along to offer her a model of his bad foot. It was thought the gods would heal your ills if you gave such ex voto to the goddess Mephiti. They went to the temple to offer the statue the gift and prayed he would be made well. Please let our child walk properly. Please help our boy. Your excellent goddess, you kind Mephiti. The goddess is burning with the earth's heat. She suddenly feels the need to be free. She pulls herself up out of the ground at the mountain Vesuvius. Say salve to the goddess Mephiti. The clouds bubble up, grey, full of ash, out of the earth stretching into the sky. She hovers above, scary in soot, and is about to rain in death from the heavens, cruel goddess Mephiti. Out of the sea the sailors cry, the writer Pliny is on the boat. He wants to recall this extraordinary scene to learn what he can about the work of the goddess Mephiti. They watch the volcano and know in the town the people are panicking, rushing around. Some who can't run have found a cellar where they can hide from the goddess Mephiti. The boy, his mother, his grandmother too. They cannot run, they must stay together. They have only one choice, to go underground and pray. Pray hard to the goddess, Mephiti. They think the gods have deserted them. They think this is the end of the world. The sun blotted out, the pillars fall down. This can only be the work of the goddess, Mephiti. Under the city huddle rich and poor. A pregnant woman holds her breath. A great strong citizen begins to weep. To save his life, he'd given up his jewels to the goddess, Mephiti. The slaves face their owners deep in the cellar. Today, no one will get out alive. Money or status, nothing will help. They're all going to stay here forever with the goddess, Mephiti. In the darkness, a few lamps flicker their last. They sputter, fut, fut, the oil nearly gone. No matter, the light can only show faces in terror, facing the force of the goddess, Mephiti. This time, good luck has deserted them. Today is the day at the end of the world. The sun blotted out. The pillars fall down. She's won. Total victory for the goddess Mephiti. Mother and grandmother hold hands and smile. They look at their boy as he smiles his best. Be strong, he says, for we all die together. 
I always believed in the goddess Mafiti. Above they can hear everyone scream. Parents cover children. Lovers hug each other. The cats and dogs try to find cover. There is no escape from the goddess Mafiti. There is no escape. No one can avoid her. The goddess can't bear the anguish and agony. She tugs an ashen blanket, drags it over the town as if she's putting its people to bed. Good night, Mafiti. Its stories forgotten, the future will find Pompeii buried under the ground. It will teach about the everyday of Roman lives, so the stories live on. But who will remember the goddess, Mafiti?